class in this video we begin our discussion of uh, section 4.6 in your textbook uh, dealing with uh, modeling with exponential functions so we're going to learn everything we've uh, we're going to use everything we learn from section 4.1 through 4.5 in uh, modeling um, uh, real world um, events using exponential functions so in this first application we're going to do exponential growth um, using a doubling time model and you're given if the initial size of a population is given by n sub zero and the time it takes for the population to double is uh, a units of time then the size of the population at time t is given by this function down here and n is the number or size of the population at time t and t is the independent variable in this function in mathematics uh, we we often use the letter t from the alphabet to represent time so the size of the population or the number of the population at, si at time t is equal to the uh, initial size of the population n zero times two raised to the t over a power this is a fraction. This is t over a, or t divided by a. And uh, a and t have to have the same units. So we can show that uh, a indeed is the time for the population to double. If we evaluate this function at t equals a, right, all we do is put in a in for t on the right-hand side, and we have n of a is equal to n sub 0 times 2 to the a over a power, right? It replaced the t up here with a. Well, a over a is equal to one, or a divided by a is equal to one, and two to the first power is just two, so we have n sub zero times two, or two times n sub zero. And remember, n sub zero is the um, initial size of the population. So after a units of time, uh, the size of the population is twice its uh, initial size. Remember, if you want to double something, you multiply it by two. So on page two of your handout, we have our first example uh, using this model. Uh, a certain culture uh, of the bacterium initially has eight bacteria and is observed to double every 1.5 hours. So we have a culture of bacteria. The initial, the initial size of the culture is eight bacteria and um, that culture doubles uh, every one and a half hours. So in, point, in part A, you're asked to find an exponential model, right, of the form discussed in the, in the rectangle on the previous page. Well, in this problem, we're given that the initial population is eight bacteria, and it doubles every 1.5 hours. So we replace n sub zero with eight, and we replace a with 1.5. So our exponential model for this problem is n of t is equal to 8 times 2 to the t over 1.5 power. In part b, you're asked to estimate the number of bacteria after 26 hours. So to do that, you just plug in 26 in for t up here, and we have n of 26 is equal to 8 times 2 to the 26 over 1.5 power. And now, right, it's arithmetic. You got to simplify the exponent. 26 divided by 1.5 is 17.333333. And now you have to file order of operations, PEMDAS. You got to do ex exponentiation before multiplication. So 2 to the 17.3333 power is equal to this number in parentheses. And then when you multiply by 8 and round to the nearest integer, you get that there are 1,321,123 bacteria after 26 hours. So this is the answer in, in, in bold. All right. In part C, uh, you're asked, after how many hours will the bacteria count reach 10,000? Well, to answer that question, you got to replace N of T uh, on the left-hand side up here with 10,000 and then solve for the independent variable t. So I've replaced n of t up here with 10,000 and now we got to solve for t. 
So first step, you gotta isolate the exponential. So what undoes multiplication? Division. So you divide both sides by eight, and we get 1,250 is equal to two to the t over 1.5 power. And now we have an exponential equation, right? This is exponential form. And we learned in the previous section, there's a couple of different ways um, of solving this type of equation for the exponent, right? In this case, t in the exponent. So with this problem, I'm gonna convert from exponential form to logarithmic form. And so the exponent t over 1.5 is equal to log base two of 1,250. Remember the base of the exponential and the base of the logarithm are the same. So the exponent t over 1.5 is equal to log base two of 1,250. And now in solving for t, we multiply both sides by 1.5 and we have t is equal to 1.5 times log base two of 1,250. Now, if you have the uh, software on your calculator, right, you can just type in 1.5 times log base two of 1,250, and when you round to the uh, nearest um, uh, first decimal, right, nearest, you get t is equal to 15.4 hours. Now, if you don't have the software, then you gotta do the change of base formula. And log base two, 1,250 is equal to the common log of 1,250 divided by common log of two, or using the natural log is equal to the natural log of 1,250 divided by the natural log of two. Regardless of how you calculate which one of these three you use, right, its value is equal to 10.28771238, and when you multiply that by 1.5 and round to the first decimal place, you get the time uh, for the uh, bacteria, number of bacteria to grow to 10,000 is equal to 15.4 hours.